I'm the co-chair of the Laura Fergus Arts Council together with Susan Thorny, who's hiding there in the crowd. Um, we want to thank all the artists who participated. Um, this event would not be possible without so many of you. And we'd also like to talk, thank our sponsors. We have the Alora BIA, the South River Housing Development by Granite Homes here in Alora, the Alora Home Hardware, Ecclestone Financial in Fergus, I Love Chocolate in Fergus, and Dr. Maura McCune and Associates Dentistry in Fergus. So a thank you to all those sponsors that helped make this overall event happen. I still I want to keep my remarks short because I think you all want to hear from our juror. And I'd like to introduce first Barb Lee, who chairs this wonderful event. Thank you, Barb. Wow, good morning, everybody. What a great day. It's pretty exciting for us all. I have to turn my sheets around so I can get this right. Um, and as Marianne said, this is a Allure Fergus Arts Council event that we've been doing now since 2016. And we're pretty thrilled with the results. And uh, we're going to keep our, our remarks as short as possible. But I have to start off first by thanking all of the other award sponsors. And as we give out prizes, we'll acknowledge them specifically for what they were sponsoring. Um, I can't tell you enough about the Allura Plan Art Committee, which is made up of all volunteers, and the volunteers that joined us to pull this event off. It's a long process, a lot of commitment and work, and it just couldn't possibly happen without them. And yeah, maybe the artists too. They're pretty important. But um, without further ado, I want to have this opportunity to introduce Valerie Kent, and Valerie is our judge this year, and I did not know Valerie until I reached out to connect with her. And uh, I have found her to be a remarkable woman. She has many, many talents, along with being an ongoing working artist. She teaches and has taught art for many years. She also has organized planner events. One event besides of this one that she sort of managed as a solo thing. She says it nearly killed her. <laughs> Uh, she has taken groups to France for plenary events. So there's a lot of background behind this. She has juried many shows and juried other plenary events. So her skills and background are pretty powerful. And I'm going to invite her to come with me to join me at the mic. And we can start the process because she probably wants to first make remarks about the overall show. And then uh, we can start presenting the awards. And she may have some comments about some of the awards that she'd like to share. So, uh, without further ado, welcome Valerie, please. Thank you very much. I don't have a loud voice, even at the best of times. So, I'd like to start by saying, the first thing that comes to my mind, re reflecting on my experiences here in Alora, is the expansiveness of soul and the giving, the generosity of everyone, the sponsors, thank you, the marvelous team that gave it their time and dedication, their soul to the annual plein air festival, the art lovers for their continued support, the family, friends, neighbors, a resounding thank you. A warm welcome goes out to the artists who came to paint. Because of all of you, the fields, the forests, the gorge, and the towns of Alora and Fergus have been alive with the music of painting and creativity. It is a spectacular opportunity for all of us to view the genius of the plein air artists, their brilliant skills and imagination at work. Their artwork came together as you sorted through the visual world and reinterpreted it. And you allowed us to see and share with you the process that can only be described as magical. Amazing, wonderful pieces were submitted. This year, we were rich in the offerings. Landscapes, townscapes, nocturnes in a wide variety 
an array of the best that can be. There are oil painters, acrylic painters, watercolorists, mixed media painters, and pastelists among us. We offer our congratulations to all the artists who came out to paint on plein air and shared your vision. We thank you all for allowing us the privilege and opportunity to interact with you and your artwork. Please keep painting on plein air for the joy of it. You continue to make the world a better place, more beautiful, and the creativity you exhibit offers all viewers the wonders of your art. We're going to start with the, the, the award presentations, and we're going to torture you and do them in reverse order. But um, the first one we want to present is Christopher Cape. Now, he was judged yesterday for his quick paint. So we are thrilled to ask Christopher to come up and receive the quick paint um, award. There you are. Here he comes. And... Uh, I, I unfortunately missed the event, so I'm not sure what Dick's comments were, but I think he liked the painting enough that it turns out he bought it. <laughs> <laughs> now, for some of these, I'm going to make comments from our, from our, our judge, because uh, it's just not enough sometimes to judge the whole show, but to be able to just make a comment about the rationale behind some of the decisions that she made. It was a tough, tough time. Okay, so the first one is going to uh, Kishore Sonawan, and this is uh, for his piece, which is called um, uh, Downtown Fergus, but there's more to add to this one. Um, it's. It's, this is, we're calling, and this is sponsored by the Mermaid of Elora. Um, so we're thrilled to, to have them as one of our sponsors. Please step forward, someone. Thanks, Kishore. And may I? Oh, thank you. Best town scene with people, Kishore Sanawan, downtown Fergus. Watercolor has two faces. Like an elusive actor, it knows all its lines, but is also full of serendipity, a serendipitous adventure on the stage. This painting has been skillfully directed with knowledge and mastery of the medium. The artist knows the watercolor secret strengths, so this is what we are given, a generously peopled sense of Fergus the busy downtown bustling with activity, the artist's enthusiasm is inherent in this work. Congratulations. All right, so uh, the next honorable mention is for uh, Best Retail Window, as it's titled as the award mention. It's a title called St. Andrew Street West Reflections. So this is another Fergus piece, believe it or not, and I would like to welcome Amanda Parkinson, and please go ahead. Thank you. The visually appealing storefront <laughs> makes us so curious to get up closer to examine the scene further. It has diverse shapes and great colors. The vertical lines neatly organized, yet they lead to the sorry, they lead the horizon um, to the viewer's eye. Sorry, this is 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> um, they lead the viewer's eye down the street and cleverly into the distance. Breaking this march away a little bit of diagonal stops the too rapid movement. The windows enclose and at the same time are reflecting another reality. Thank you, Anne. And uh, the next honorable mention is 
thanks to the sponsorship of the Gorge Country Kitchen and its best rock face by Jonathan Anderson down at, and his title is Down in the Gorge. So, uh, would you like to talk a little bit about this one? Jane. Jane. Thank you. <laughs> this painting has few obvious adornments, but speaks volumes. The shapes are strong, powerful, and value is so important in this scene. The lights and darks define the way nature has carved the forms into the rocks. The look and feel of the gorge is just right. Okay, so the next award, honorable mention, is to Julie Poness. Um, and as an award, it was her tag, just Best Cottage. The title is Here Comes the Sun. <laughs> Thank you. This is a little sun-dappled gem of a cottage that is so inviting. It has intricate patterns playing across the surface with lively brush strokes conveying an invitation to experience the pleasures of light and shadow and a warm, happy time. The next honorable mention is called Best Patio Scene, and uh, we welcome Laura Coots to come and join us for this one, and it's titled, Finally, Outside, and we know it's been a long point spring. Do we not revel in the sheer fun of sitting on patios? The activity, sorry, the activity in the scene is a party of delight under green umbrellas. The closeness of the patrons communicates volumes, a unity of oneness. This is a painting of insight, melded with the technical know-how to have made it happen. Thank you. So our next honorable mention is a, a best street scene and we invite Greg Hartgarden to come and visit us up here for his painting entitled Dreamies. <laughs> this beautiful landscape is a harmony of stroll worthiness. The composition is designed to offer clever colors for the potted plants and a wreath of tree leaves to invite us along the sidewalk. The artist touches the surfaces of the shop window with ingenuity and excellent draftsmanship. It's evident throughout. My emphasis was off. <laughs> <laughs> this painting convinces us that this street is the loveliest place to be. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, some people are greedy. This is one of them. Um, I'd like to invite Christopher Tate back up. And uh, this is sponsored by, oh, I'm sorry, I meant to mention that the, uh, the last one was sponsored by Framing and Art in Kitchener. And my apologies to Framing and Art, because without our sponsors, we don't have all this lovely doll to give out to people. So, uh, Christopher, come on forward. This one is sponsored by Tree Trust. Um, which is an important local thing, and uh, we'll meet Tree Trust, they'll wave at you in a minute. But, uh, so Christopher's, uh, this was for Best Abstract Trees, and the title was Patterns of Growth. So, I'll let you talk. A painterly quality adds interest and excitement to the impasto textured piece. The visual effects are sometimes gradual and sometimes abrupt. This painting playfully challenges the viewer to question the beginning and ending of each tree. The irregularity of the image is its strength and delights the viewers. Thank you. Uh, 
lecture was. I just gave them out ahead of time. This is for the best abstract of country scene. And Liam Reynolds, would you like to come forward and uh, receive an award for the glow of love, a hot pink cow. <laughs> I found it easy to interact with this piece. After we see this countryside site, S-I-T-E, um, populated by three members of the bovine family in an assortment of colors, it resonates true exactly the way it should be. If there is symbolism in the surprise redness of the cow, it is the work of the viewer to define it. The lovely rectangular cloud is a fitting backdrop for the whimsical, perhaps even romantic story that is unfolding. Okay. So, the next one is for best nocturne. And I must say, we had a dazzling array of them this year. So I would like to invite Rick Worthington to step forward. Uh, to receive an award for Night Under the Bridge. Without the deep darks, the brilliant highlights on the bridge and water would not work as well. The contrast in values, lights and darks produce a lively dance that required the skills and technical knowledge of the artist to orchestrate what the viewer sees and interprets about this nightscape. The emotional impact of sudden color changes is due to the dynamic composition and the curved shapes leading us up to the colors laid in like stars in the night sky. Okay, last page. What can that mean? Okay, so the first thing I'd like to do is invite uh, Zanaja uh, Contranero to come on up. Contranero, sorry, mispronunciation. And uh, this is sponsored by Impact Realty Group. I'm not sure if Melissa is able to be here to present the award. I don't see her. So we just will allow our judge to talk to you about what she loves so much about your work. Come in here. Color plays a significant role in this dramatic painting. The warm colors might have affected the aerial perspective, but the size and shapes of the rocks in the foreground lead the eye back towards the bridge. The use of colors in the water is really strong and adds interest. The colors also are repeated throughout the picture plane to create a stimulating composition. It is overall so warm so inviting, a fine aerial perspective, well thought out. Congratulations. Um, this, this award is sponsored by Allura Optical, and I don't know if we have anyone from Allura Optical here to be able to present. Is there somebody putting their hand up? Somebody being shy? Is this Corey? Yeah. Corey Schmidt, how lovely. Thank you, Corey, for being here. And um, Cam Forrester, would you please come to the front? This is for our second prize winner. And um, I'm going to step back so that you can, can you guys come forward this way? Hold on to that. And you come here. Yes, Corey. You guys snuggle in a little bit. The emphasis of this painting is on the soundness of the shapes and the clarity of values and contrasts. There is a confidence of a seasoned artist who lays in the darks so that the sunlit face of the mill is bathed by light. The movement down into the water has a pleasing reflection through repetition. The overall effect is dynamic, strong, and intense. Directionality is important here. This horizontal painting furthers the contrasts of shape and color vertically and diagonally. The painting makes a minimalist statement 
without sacrificing the power of the story. sponsored by Mockery Boys and Realty Group, and we are really fortunate that they have been such a strong sponsor of Twin Air for the last couple of years, so we thank them for this, sincerely for this prize. Now, the saddest part about this one is our prize winner is Astra Nams, who has done a fabulous piece, and Astra herself cannot be here today. She has a serious knee problem and huge mobility issues, so she's not, unable to attend. She is thrilled. And she's just, oh gosh, oh my, and she's just very sad that she can't be here to say more herself in person. But I'm going to let our judge talk about this piece. We need our, our sponsors, please. Oh, I did say the sponsor. At the very to present it. Oh, George, would you like to come up and, <laughs> hand, <laughs> and you can hand me back your money. <laughs> Actually, Sam, would you like to accept on Astra's behalf? That would be good. Because you're going to... I don't think he did, though. I'll come up. That's okay. I'll let George be here so he can hear our judge's comments. And, and we need a photo up with George. Come on in. Don't be shy. Come on, George. <laughs> you're not shy, are you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> George? This is a unique take on quintessential fields. The fields are pure energy, lyrical in brushstrokes of courageous color. Each carefully placed brushstroke structures the composition. The shadows are placed strategically, color vibrating against color. Yet there is economy in their placement. The brushstrokes are also about shape and leading the eye. There are flowing lines and strokes on the flat fields for horizontal harmony and calmness. The mood is one of sun and heat rising on a brilliant, clear day, so sharp that the viewer can almost hear the chatter of insects in the fields and bird song from far away. It was absolutely agonizing making those decisions <laughs> after many hours and going back and forth because there are just so many wonderful pieces in this show. I have judged a lot of shows and this one is spectacular. So congratulations to all of you. Thank you so much. We are thrilled to have had you. Thanks very much for being here. And just one reminder to everybody. Right now, both our artists, our sponsors, and the people that will come in later have the opportunity to vote on People's Choice. So we have an award, and we won't know who's going to win that award till after the People's Choice ballots have been tallied. So. Just think really hard about the things, the pieces you love, and you're going to have a chance to vote on them now. Um, so people will be circulating with the, uh, with the little ballots for you to use. So thanks again, everybody, for a fabulous show. Without you artists, couldn't be happening. Thank you. Oh, and uh, this lovely lady is waving her hand. She's got ballots. She's ready. She's short, but she's got a brightly colored shirt on, so you should find her. Bye now.